In this video, I'll talk you through the method on how to solve a linear differential equation. There's a special form that it has to be in. If you can algebraically manipulate your equation to be in the following form, dy dx plus some function of x times y being equal to some other function of x, then this is your standard form for the linear first order differential equation. The function that's multiplied by y is called p of x, and the function that's on the right hand side of the equation is called q of x. If you are able to do this, algebraically write your function in this form, your differential equation in this form, then you can follow the following steps to solve the equation. First up, you have to find the integrating factor. That's the Greek letter mu. And what you do is you're going to use this to help you simplify the entire equation. Now, this integrating factor is multiple parts to it. After you identify what p of x is, then you have to integrate it. So it needs to be something that you can integrate without too much trouble. After integrating it, you make that the exponent on e. Okay, This is then called the integrating factor. If you can, you want to simplify it as much as possible. And so then after you found this integrating factor, what makes this thing so special is what you're going to do with it next. You're going to multiply the entire equation by this integrating factor. What this will do for you is it'll make the the uh, problem work out um, work out well. Here's how it's, that's going to happen. Every single term gets multiplied by this integrating factor, and what will happen is in the next step we recognize that the entire left hand side of our equation now is basically a product rule, and so we write it as the der derivative of a product. What's the product? The product is the integrating factor and this unknown function that we're in search of, y. The way this is going to be set up, the integrating factor is, is made so that you can do this following step. It's just a recognition. There's no algebra or calculus involved. You are um, finding this special integrating factor mu that when multiplied through, your left hand side becomes a product rule. And we're going to write it with these symbols, d dx of the product. And the product will be your integrating factor times y. Okay, So it's a recognition step. There's no algebra. There's no calculus. You're going to rewrite your left hand side as this, this product, derivative of the product. If you take a look at it, I have the the first times the derivative of the second and then this happens to be the derivative of the first times the second it is a product rule and this 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 function mu is is made so that it can make this happen for you why is this desirable why is it is it good to have it in this form it's because of the fourth step in the fourth step, we are going to integrate both sides of the equation with respect to our independent variable x. So I'm going to integrate the left-hand side, and I'm going to integrate the right-hand side. So not only do I write the integral symbol, but I also write the dx symbol. These guys are partners. OK, well, why is that good? That's good because these two symbols next to each other should stand out to you. It's the integral symbol and the differentiation symbol. And so these are opposite operations. They're going to cancel each other out. Okay, officially what you're using there is called the fundamental theorem of calculus, abbreviated here as FTC. Officially, I think it might be uh, called the fundamental theorem of calculus part one. So we employ that fundamental theorem of calculus to cancel out the integration operation with the differentiation operation. If you integrate something that is a derivative, you just get the integrand. And so now our left hand side is just our integrating factor times this mystery function that we're in search of. Remember the big picture is we have to find y. Our job is to find the function y that solves this equation. 
Okay. That's our goal. And and so we are we are headed towards that. We're almost there actually. Um, on the right hand side, um, through the process of um, the whole um, the, all the different steps, we we multiply by this integrated factor. Now we've integrated. So all along the way we should be simplifying the right hand side too. We just need to make sure that this is something that we can integrate. Okay. And then we're done. If our goal is to find out what y is, then we'll be done when we can do the last step of dividing by this function. If the function y is being multiplied by our um, our integrating factor, then we just divide both sides by it. Now I don't want you to think about this as some formula that you can just plug into to get the answer. I want you to go through the six individual steps here. To, in order to in order to solve the problem, and so uh, after doing that, you'll have y all by itself, and it will be the solution to the differential equation. You'll be you'll be able to um, you'll be able to solve the problem if you are able to follow those steps. Okay. All right, great.